Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review. And today's event is on a uh, Quidditch practice from 2002. So, I'll start off with the booklet and see the Lego logo, the old school logo, that interesting border and picture of the whole set there is of Harry about to reach the golden stud, of course, and a little choking hazard, which most of the manuals don't tend to have, but at least until the 2003 sets both did. And then set number 4726. And on the back, you see a picture of all the 2001 and 2 sets, of course, and how some of them come together, which I'll do in an upcoming video. And then after the PC CD ROM game, and the last steps. First of all, for the name, oh, it's left to right. We have Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy in their Quidditch outfits, but interesting designs to them. But since, of course, have the red and green capes for both Gryffindor and Slytherin, of course, but the face prints, hair pieces, same as in most other sets, and of course, Harry wielding the a uh, brown broom, Draco Malfoy, with the uh, black broom, for whatever reason. And also, uh, what Harry's holding is a, a metallic gold stud, and of course, representing the golden snitch, obviously. And last of which is Madame Hooch. And of course, her torso print, uh, quite good for the time being. And of course, interesting face print with goggles, of course, and that traditional hair piece that was common from the time. And if you look from the back, then you see her cape, of which does have some interesting text pattern on it, and, and the rest of which don't at all. And nope, not at all any back face prints or torso prints since there are older figures, of course, and yeah. First of all, for the builds, is is just a little treasure chest, like any other traditional treasure chest. And we look right inside are three uh, Technic spheres, or ball joints, of which two in black representing uh, bludgers, and one in red representing a quaffle. And then, of course, you get this little catapult. Well, that does has built quite well. To, and, of course, same piece as the flying lesson set had. And, of course, which allows you to, and, of course, as traditionally, come on. room on there and fling right off of course. Well at least kind of functions like that. See that time it did function good. And of course you get that. You get it. And then next to which are the three uh, quidditch post rings. Oh kinda of out of order. And they were quite, quite basic, made of just basic 2x4 bricks and jagged slopes with a couple of those modified bricks and a rod leading up to the little hoops, which were quite common in the sports line for basketball hoops, but and in this case used for the Quidditch rings, of course. And of course have different lengths of the rods, since they are supposed to be in different lengths or heights, of course. And last but not least, is the main Quidditch Tower, of course. And what's kind of interesting is like a half and half of the two of the houses being in the course. You get these interesting 2x2 two two bricks that are 
both Slytherin and Gryffindor. And if we look inside, then you see just this old school traditional book piece. And of course, it's for Quidditch rules with the golden snit right there, and on the spine, a broom with the hoops. Interesting. Besides that, see, kind of a bit of bricks stacked on top of bricks. And, oh, also, an odd kind of bland from the back, but in the for the front, see the chair that Mab Hooch would sit on, and yeah. And of course, open it and you get this little tile that has a sack opening up on it, which we also see in Dobby's release, of course, or free or Dobby's release from this time and whatnot. So let me get everything onto here. So we can all get a good view for the to finish this review. So for my overall verdict is that this I think is a pretty good set for the time. Or quite good sex for the time. Very good uh, representation of the Quidditch er area of it. Like the three hoops and all. But although they should have like made two uh, stands, one for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin, well, even though they did kind of figure that part out and in like later versions of it, and also kind of interesting that the, uh, how they use the gold stud for the golden snitch until they improved that in 2018 obviously and of course one of the only times of ever having madame hoot well until the 2010 version well i hope they do another version of madame hoot well probably with like a cmf series or whatever so at least this is kind of a sign of the times where you got plenty of good stuff for the price, and yeah. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I say definitely pick it up. eBay for Clink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.